Hi, everybody. So we bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Got a special special guest tonight. Valerie and Scott are here from California, visiting New York, and they dropped by and they're going to help out with class tonight. So we're going to have some fun with that. I get to do some things that I wouldn't ordinarily do because I got people to work with. So that'd be kind of fun. So um, uh, we'll uh, kind of take it along the same line as we were uh, exploring last week, and but we're going to add in some some person to person uh, exchange along the way, kind of to help to visualize a lot of the uh, you know the the gins that we're getting into with uh, with particularly with the wrist and the elbow. So uh, and I guess you could call this like you know the wrist elbow uh, program today because that's really what. Uh, our primary focus is how do we use the wrist and the elbow to express our gin through our arms, particularly, and because um, we have a tendency to get muscular, we go to muscular contraction whenever there's any kind of stress on the system, and there's a uh, there's a very natural impulse to tighten up and to bunch up and and to retreat to crude muscular effort, Lee, and instead of sticking with the, the gin, the energy expression through the body. So to train that, we, we, we need to kind of go very gently because as soon as you trigger the, uh, the, the, the stress response in the body mind, there's a, you know, we tend to to lose that connection. And so the, uh, uh, we're gonna kind of patiently explore some of the, the cool stuff here and uh, show how to develop your gin, particularly with, with the help of a partner, but it is not uh, absolutely necessary. But uh, you really wanna, to, to get a, a, a sense of the power of the gin, it's a, it's really good to have a uh, good to have a partner there to help reflect it back to you. So the uh, what we we're playing with last week regarding elbow and gin was we were talking about how to reach with your arm in a way that allows the energy to move freely through the through through the whole system there. So you're not you're not just locally extending up with muscular contraction which is actually, although it may look strong, it's actually quite weak. But, you know, have be able to move fluidly, gracefully, and powerfully is the objective that we're, 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 we're working with. And uh, so to start, I just, it's kind of a given uh, in, in these conversations, but it bears mentioning at least once in this conversation, and that is to first establish your energetic coherence. That is, you know, I say the easiest way to do it is just point and reach with your index fingers and feel the fingers. And if you do that, then there's a, you immediately activate your connective tissue system, your living matrix, and get your body mind into a heightened state of energetic coherence and a, and a, it awakens a heightened state of tensegrity. So tensegrity is that that supple uh, uh, power that that we get from our connective tissue system, which is very different than the than the crude power we get from from muscular contraction. And one of the things we we learn as we go along with our Tai Chi practice and other Chinese internal martial arts is that it's just about always about extension. So in other words, if you're, if you're lifting your arm, it's not contracting muscle to, to raise it, which is the classical way of thinking about it, not classical uh, Tai Chi way, but the, the way that people think in terms of, uh, of muscular effort in, uh, Particularly in, in Western cultures, that is, you're 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 lifting weights, you're uh, you're you're building up muscle strength by contracting the muscles and working 
with the uh, uh, with your joints and your bones as levers and fulcrums to to make something happen. And uh, so the a lot of our motions have a tendency to contract. And even whenever you're not doing something that is particularly strenuous, there is a tendency to to pull in to contract and uh, and to train yourself to do otherwise requires that you must have the confidence that you're doing some good with it, that you're actually creating uh, a beneficial effect by extending, by reaching and extending rather than pulling in and contracting. So the uh, when we point and reach with the index fingers, we we create that state of tensegrity of heightened energetic coherence. So immediately shifts you into a different state, a state that I refer to as super consciousness, that is a body, mind, spirit integration. You're no longer limited by the five senses and the rational mind. You're able to perceive things and know things that are not necessarily arrived at through rational thought. And this is something we do all day without even thinking about it, but it's a, uh, it's uh, to be able to trust that and to know without thinking is a, is a key element in, in, in super consciousness. So if we initiate with that index finger, the first thing is the first thing we, we immediately shift into this, this expanded state and where we have the body, mind, and spirit are all working together. And so the, where the elbow and wrist come in is particularly in the arm motions, we, if you're reaching with the wrist, and when you do that, your, your hand gets very relaxed. So a lot of people, when I say, okay, reach with your wrist, they'll do this or this. They'll get the, the, the hand and the forearm will be one unit. And whenever you do that, this creates muscular tension, goes, shoots all the way up to your shoulder. Just try that right now. Just kind of reach out like that. And just notice that, that you automatically get this muscular tension in your shoulders. So then we just let that go and notice what happens. Muscular tension gone. Okay, so you, you and just try it again and just feel that, that it comes back and then it's gone. So when you're raising your arms, you want to relax the fingers and reach with the wrists. And then when you're coming down with your hands, then we're going to go the opposite way. We're going to lift the fingers and bend the wrists this way to come down. So it's a very graceful motion, but extremely powerful because you're reaching with the wrist in both situations here. And this makes a internal connection, which is not obvious, but whenever you play with it, it, it becomes uh, very profound. So we have, so the, that's, so we're extending there. The other thing is setting the elbow. So if I'm not, my elbow is moving around, I'm moving from the shoulder. Okay, I'm automatically activating my muscular um, uh, contractions in the shoulder whenever I do that. But whenever I set the elbow, that is, I immobilize it. I just say, okay, I choose a position in space or a position relative to my body. And then I move my forearm and my hand independent of my shoulder motion. And believe me, this takes some time to, to disconnect from the hard wiring that you have that automatically tenses up the shoulder whenever you're uh, doing it. So we're, if we want to, one way we, we, we're going to practice this is just by holding your elbow in place and moving your forearm around so that you can, you can just get the idea of what it feels like to not engage your shoulder muscles when you're doing that. Another way of doing it, and we're going to play with that too, is just put your arm tight against your body and then move your arm around. And that way too, you're starting to, to get this idea of, 
oh, I can move my hand without necessarily tightening up my shoulder. That starts the, the conversation with your body mind. And then we can take it from there to, to develop other cool things. So the, um, um, the rest of it, we're gonna, we're gonna discover as we, as we go along and explore these things. So uh, I'm gonna ask my two guests to uh, come in and help me out with this. Okay. And I think so, okay. why don't we just get you both out here and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll take turns. Um, all right, so let's start off by uh, getting our our three pillars established, okay? So just, uh, here we go, when I get centered here, that's it, good. So just take a, a hip width stance. Good. And feel the balls of your feet. So we like to do the three pillars each time. This is the three pillars of body, mind, spirit integration. This gets us really set up, gets us, get the chi, the chi cranking, connects up to the big chi, and it gets us coherent energetically. So feel the balls of your feet. You want to center your weight over that, spread throughout the foot, but feeling that, that weight centered there. Okay, so... Whenever you get that, you're going to feel yourself getting more rooted. So just let's just uh, start right here. So yeah, I push in on on Scott here, and he's in a state of central equilibrium right now. It's like it, I push in, and he's not only rock solid and rooted, but the arm is incredibly powerful, and without any without any effort, right? So we get the just feel that. Boom, that we have this, this effortless power that comes from just from connecting up to the earth through there. So we get the, the that just begins the conversation. Now we reach with the crown of the head, tuck in the chin and open the jade pillow gate. And then we get even more. So we now have the yin chi of the earth coming up. Filling the body, we have the yang chi of the heavens coming down through the body, out through the feet. So we're getting this, this sense of fullness that comes with that. So there's a, you know, and we have this, the, um, the effortless power expands throughout the whole system. So if, we, if I ask Valerie to put her arms out like this, and I, I just push in and you get this very powerful motion, that very powerful energetic connection which is much stronger than than the muscular con uh, uh, connection that one has in this position really easy to clap someone um, if they're just trying to push away like that but if you have your chin there then you immediately have this this effortless power that uh, we're looking for in, in Taiji Chuan so then we once we have established this connection, then we can then build on that. We can extend from there. Point and reach with your index fingers and feel the, the energetic coherence. So just by pointing, reaching with that, you can wiggle your finger a little bit. You need to get that feeling and feel the, there's a tingling that you're gonna feel immediately in your hands but it also kind of radiates throughout your whole body as you as you relax your muscular con your, your, uh, your the muscular tension in your body. You let that go. Reach out a little bit with your elbows to open up your shoulder joints. The arms are slightly rounded, and just feel into your hands and feel the the uh, feel the chi there. Feel the fullness, the tingling, the pulsing. And want to get the um, uh, the quaff. So just spiral down and, and turn it just very softly, turning back and forth to feel that. You just feel that. Allow yourself to sink even more into the earth. 
Okay, so let's begin with a uh, very simple reach with your elbows. Set your elbows and reach with your wrists. Coming up very slowly, the elbows stay down. Take it up to about, about here. And you notice that if you want to go any farther than that, it's going to, it requires some movement. You have to do something. If you continue with the elbows down from here, then you're going to use your bicep muscles and you're going to start contracting. But we don't want that. So we're going to bring it up to, to about here. Not, and, and then now in order to continue, we're going to reach up and forward with the wrists. And you feel them kind of dragging the elbows along. And get up to about chest height. And reach with the fingers and open up your back. Feel the space between your vertebrae as you extend forward. Now, sink into your heels and initiate by reaching down with your elbows and then your wrists. And you bend your wrists so the fingers come up as your hands come down. But they're not pulling back. They're down and slightly forward. So we're always get, we're getting this sense of reaching as we do it. It's a very natural thing to lift your arm like this, right? To, to that, which is just a, a muscular contraction of your bicep muscle or your biceps and shoulders and everything coming together. So in order to change that, we want to change the vector from here to, oh, there's an expansion as we're coming up here. And boom. And then coming down, elbow, wrist, fingers, boom. So we get that. So if uh, Scott's going to come up with this, so as you just reaching forward and notice what's happening here. I'm giving them just a little bit of pressure, but this is coming from the shoulder. Okay. <clears throat> so in order to get that, we have to set this elbow so that the wrist is coming up and that's it. You're bending that. So, so the, why don't you come up here a little closer so people can see what's, what's going on here. So the uh, if Scott's reaching, reaching, go ahead, reach up and, and uh, that's it. That's it. Beautiful. So that was that was good. So now when I press down, it's rock solid. Okay, and coming down, you have to lead with the elbow coming down. So that's that's it. The elbow comes down, then the wrist, then the wrist follows, and that's it. Good. Now coming up with the with the wrist. Good, beautiful. So notice that the vector now is, is like this. It's not up, it's up and out. And as he's extending that, there is a lifting energy. There's a gin that lifts me up as, I, as, I, as he does that. So even right now, just holding this, I'm feeling myself being uprooted by the, by the, uh, by the Pong Jin coming up there. And... So then coming down, you initiate with the elbow. So boom. And then, then the wrist comes down. And so here, this is, so notice when the fingers come down like this, there's no power. But if there's pressing down with the, pressing down with, with, the, with the wrist, with the fingers up, there is, there is more energy coming through that. That's coming down. So the uh, coming up, coming down, there's the fingers have to, that's it, really, that's it. Really, you really want really to, up, huh? re, you re, yeah, the fingers come up, well, for now, that's it, that's it. As you, as you get sensitive to the, to this, that is, it's less, you, you need less of a motion there. But the, uh, just being able to, to this, this extension is, is a really key thing here, because that, 
that that being able to come out and and up is the uh, is the is the way we get access to the to the gin. Thank you. Uh, so we get um, so same same thing here. You're gonna reach up. Good, and notice that. Yeah. Right. So so want to get it so that you. Setting the elbow, and then the wrist comes up a little bit, doesn't come up all the way. And as it comes up, it's reaching forward. And so, go ahead, boom. So, you're reaching forward. That's it, beautiful. So, now we have there's there's chin there, there's, there's power in that in that arm that was not there. Uh, whenever you're just using muscular whenever you're using the shoulder. This is the way we disconnect the shoulder. So if we're practicing it, keep your elbow against the against the, the body and just you practice just reaching with the wrist. That's it, that's it, that's it. Beautiful. So there's a that so the to get the gin going, what Valerie's got to do is first feel her body. I'm giving her some resistance there. She feels her body, then she feels my hand. Okay, and that first thing by feeling her own body, she's activating her super consciousness. She's taking it to a deeper level. And then she feels my hand and connects up through her. That's it. So now you're pulling back. So you want to reach out that way. That the, the intention goes right. So the intention is forward. Good. So you're coming up and reaching. That's it. That's it. That's it. So there's there's a the energy's got a vector to it. It's reaching forward as we're doing that. And so we get this there like that. So then from here, if you're extending forward, reach from the wrist. That's it. And this is, this is weird. Yes. <laughs> it's weird because if I'm reaching forward, you know, it looks like I'm reaching with my fingers, but in actuality, the fingers are there to to create the uh, the energetic connection, but then the the wrist is what gives me the the structure to allow the energy to do something. So that you're reaching with your fingers. So you want to, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Explain the describe your your internal experience, please. Feeling my feet, then feeling my wrist, feeling his hand, and just. It's all one piece. It just moves out, and there's tinglies in the tingling in the fingers. Tinglies. Tinglies. <laughs> tinglies. New word. Tinglies. It's in the classics. Yeah. yeah. So, so we're getting this. You're that reaching forward. So, if you want to get power, so this. So, if Scott's pushing me, yeah, let's come up here a little bit. So, and turn sideways. Good. So, Scott's pushing me. I'm giving a little bit of resistance here. Go ahead. So immediately this goes in the shoulder, okay? This is a, to be expected. It takes a lot of practice to, 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 to let that go. So in order to reach forward, that's it, that's it. Okay, so the, there's, it's, uh, you're reaching, you're really feeling that wrist as you're extending forward. You're, Feeling your wrist, but he's also feeling my hand. If he doesn't feel my hand, right there, he didn't feel my hand. Nothing's going to happen. Okay? Waiting for him to feel my hand. Okay, there it is. Boom. So the, it, it requires a uh, some mental effort in order to make that happen. It's crazy subtle. <laughs> it's crazy subtle, yes. But this is this is this is the alchemy part here. This is we're get we get into the woo 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 stuff here. So be able to to extend there and just reach for that. Good. So you're reaching with your wrist. So just try that. Just just feel your fingers, right? Feel your index finger, and then and then just reach out with your wrist, and then then let the finger follow. Boom. And then coming down, you reach back with your elbow, and Lift your fingers. And then coming forward, reach with the wrist. Feel that, extend forward. And then 
Ah, open. So notice what happens there. Do that again, please, just to get that kind of. Notice the grace of this movement. So, but behind, hidden in that grace is uh, tremendous power. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no effort. It's, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's uncanny, right? It's, yeah, it, I'm just... This is this is what we're talking about effortless power. Pushing. This is where we're this is where we this is how we get it. So we get we get it so that that when you execute ah oh, like that. So let's just uh, well, we just do a little do, do a little something here. Come on, uh, we get the so the what we're gonna do is going to um, feel the ball to your feet and reach up with your wrists and you're reaching up and forward and relax your hands, okay? So relax your fingers. And this is an exaggerated uh, exercise. I'm, I'm, when you're doing your Tai Chi form, maybe you're, you're not going to relax your fingers to this degree, but it's a, it's a way of really developing this sensitivity. So just holding your, your arms in this position and reaching, so just imagine just reaching forward, just like half an inch forward with your with your wrist. You're you're directing that forward and reaching down with your elbows. Reach forward with your with your wrist and notice that your shoulders are really just open. They're wide open here, and just feel that feel that connection there. Now lift the fingers and pull back with your hands. Just pull back just uh, like a, an inch. And relax your fingers. Reach forward with your wrists. So you want to feel your wrists going forward. Feel your shoulders are emptying out. You're creating space in your shoulder joints. And then reach with the fingers. And then pull back with your elbows and reach back with your wrists, fingers come up and then forward fingers down and then fingers come up and back. Good. So just to, to demonstrate it, because if I can uh, do the, uh, Scott's going to, Push forward with his fingers up. Go ahead, push. And go ahead. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> so what, what's happening here is just by lifting his fingers like that, it cues the shoulder to get activated. Okay. So now we're going to just drop that and reach forward with <laughs> no effort. No effort. No effort. So just getting that, just getting, so the, there is this, people have this tendency, oh, I'm going to push, the fingers come up like that, but it actually, you can feel it. Just try it right now, just reaching forward and with your fingers up like that, and just feel the tension in your, in your shoulders as you do that. And, you know, Scott's going to do it with both hands now. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's real easy for me to, <laughs> to bunch up. Yeah, the uh, to 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 interrupt the the energy there. You like to try? Sure. <laughs> so mm -hmm. you're you're going to that's it that's it good. So you um, first you're going to you're going to try with your right right. right. <laughs> Go ahead. So you're um, okay. So you're pushing forward. <laughs> pushing. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm push. pushing. <laughs> So, the, um, <laughs> so now let's just try with your with your right arm here. So the uh, you're just gonna reach with the wrist, feel the finger good, and then you're reaching with your feeling. That's it. That's it. That's it. Boom. And just do that again. So boom. You reach. That's it. Good. And just hold that. Good. And just I'm just gonna push it in. <laughs> Ta-da! 
<laughs> Easy peasy. My job is done. <laughs> so getting this. Oh, and it's very lightly. Just, 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 just do that a few times. Just reaching forward. Ah. Oh, and ideally you get someone to practice this on just so you can get that feeling of reaching with the uh, with, with with some resistance dude i have a question yes can you have your fingers up but still be reaching with your wrist yes okay but it's harder so the question is can i reach with my wrist with my fingers up and the answer is of course yes but the thing is for most people it immediately cues the shoulder tension so it's sort of after you've already got the feeling of chin and a relaxed shoulder then you can move on and and do all kinds of tricks with it you can play with you can you can you, know, you can play around with it and, and, and try different things. But the, uh, for our purposes, for this initiation, we want to practice getting this kind of thing going where, where you're having the, uh, that fluid, graceful motion which unlocks your internal power. And then after that, then you can work the opposite direction. You can go like this and, and, and you can still get you can get that, and that, so that's a really good point. And I, I, I don't want, I don't want this to be construed as, as dogmatic in any way. So you can definitely reach forward, and but once you once you've learned how to relax your shoulder, then you can do that. Thank you. Cool. So um, one place we, you know, a lot of tai chi forms have a single whip. It's sort of one of common thing to it and and there's a, a motion here in in single whip which is something of, of this sort where you're curled in and then you're reaching out with your wrist with your fingers usually the fingers are together you know you're creating what we call, we call it a bird's beak so you're like this you spiral down and then you reach out and if you get that if you, uh, if okay, it's a spiral down there, good, so get down, uh, you, you're going down in, in yeah, that's oh, okay. it. Yeah, good. So then you're going to, for this arm to come out, go ahead, and to have any kind of power, we have to follow these, this, the same rules, because right now Scott's reaching with his shoulder. He's, he's, he's trying to do it with the shoulder. So getting it, let's go up here. <laughs> okay, so. We want to get so down here and then you're up and reach out, right? So you're spiraling down to your left. Okay. Good. Okay. And then you're going to. Good. So notice, do that again. Okay. okay. Slow motion. Okay. Notice how this shoulder is already activated uh -huh. here. Okay. And, and, and if, if when that happens, then it's real easy to collapse that. Right. There's no power in that. So to get, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab my wrist, right? I'm here like this. So you're, you're pressing down. So I'm, I'm going to, boom, I'm reaching up and out. There's a, just do it again, please. This again. So the idea here is that, okay, I'm spiraling down to the left and then I'm, oh, I'm opening and just feeling his hand with my wrist, right? And then it has that, that gin. That, that we're looking for in this. So that getting, even if you're not doing anything with this, striking anything that, just having the gin there means that the energy is flowing freely through that. So just try that again. So to get there, you're spiral down to your left. Good. So we want to set the elbow. The elbow is, is it, notice the elbows, the wrist is up here, the elbow is down here. So automatically, we've changed the, We've changed the game for Scott, right? You can feel that this is already connected. That there's right. So we what we've done is we set the elbow. The elbow is set. So now all he's got to do is feel my hand with his wrist, and just 
I'm, I'm a goner. So the getting that, but the key here is to you reach the elbow is set. You reach with the wrist, and then you follow with the uh, with the elbow. The elbow extends out. Try that. <laughs> <laughs> No whining in Tai Chi. <laughs> so, you want to get here. So, notice the elbow is dropped here, right? So, to, to feel your tension in your shoulder there, you want to let that go, let it go. And so, there you go, good. So, the elbow stays here, and you begin by feeling your hand, your wrist, my hand. That's it, that's it. Don't, 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 don't turn, just. You're reaching, that's it, you're reaching from the elbow with the wrist. That's it, that's it. Good, so keep going, it, it, keep extending the wrist outward, reaching with the wrist. That's it, that's it. Again, <laughs> again, do it again. So setting the elbow, reaching with the wrist. Notice you're turning your body, but you're not reaching with the wrist. Okay. So the wrist is happening. That's it. And the body follows. That's good. That's it. So it's an extension. Just feel me. Just just, just say, so if I'm I'm here, like I'm spiraling down the left, and I oh, I just make that connection there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't require effort to to execute. Whenever you get the when you get the energy cooking, so let's uh, let's do uh, let's do one with this. Okay, so everybody just just uh, we're going to uh, sink into your right leg. So you're going to feel the ball of the right foot, or let's say the heel of the right foot. So you're sinking the heel of the right foot. Set the right knee. Spiral down to the left as you do that, and. Bring your wrist up along your center line, right like that. So your elbow stays down, your wrist comes up. Just get that, so that's a barrel down and the wrist comes up. Back and just feel the, feel the heel, set the knee, spiral down to the left, the wrist comes up. So we have this, we're coiled and ready to go. The shoulder is relaxed because the elbow is down. So I'm going to, you actually want to feel, put your, put your, uh, your left hand on your right wrist as you do this and feel your wrist. And then feel, feel your hand with your wrist. And just notice that there's a, a, a connection there. You press down with your, press down with your left hand on your wrist and feel it all the way down through your foot and into the earth. So now we're going to, oh, we're going to reach with that, reach with the wrist, the, the right wrist, as you're turning and opening, and separate that out, and just reach with the, the wrist leads the elbow and the shoulder, even though my arm is up rather high here, it, uh, my shoulder is still quite relaxed. You can do it, uh, Master Chen would do it, would do it this way. He'd, he'd go wrist and it come up to about shoulder height. Same idea though, you're reaching out with the wrist and extending outward, but the wrist is leading the elbow as we're doing that. So, Let's get that spiral down and then turn, reaching. We get distracted by all the other whistles and bells that are happening in the form. And it's hard to just focus on the simplicity of feeling your wrist from inside your body. Yeah. But let's take it the other direction. Let's go to the, uh, you're gonna go into, you're gonna go to your left foot. Feel the heel of your left foot, set your left knee, barrel down to the right. You're locating the elbow down, the wrist comes up 
again on your center line. So the fingers are on the center line there, and you're you're here. So you're oh you're you're loaded up, spiraling down to the to the right, and we're going to then reach with the left wrist. So press down with your your right hand. You feel that, and then oh you're going to reach and turn and reach and extend and open and. Feel the elbow pulls down, wrist comes down, curl up here, and then open, extend, and down, and open. Good. And now bring both, both hands in and then reach out with both of them. Uh, sink in, elbows down, and then open. Feel that, just hold that, just feel that extension there. Relax your shoulders, you want to feel that, feel the wrists are pulling things into position. And the, the rational mind has a hard time with that, that your wrists are pulling your arms into position. But if you use that as your image, good stuff happens. And sink down. Good. Now reach up with your right hand. Reach with the wrist. Reaching up and down. And reach up with your left. Feel that extension. Feel the, the freedom in your shoulder as you do that. And coming down with wrist and ah, uh, empty. And hold. And just pause for a moment and feel, feel the chi circulating in your body right now, particularly in your arms and your hands. So one more. So we're going to Get into the Song Gong position. You're reaching up like this, right? And then coming down. But we're just going to keep it like this. So your arms are moving out to the side. So you set the elbows and then reach with the wrists. Just take it up, just that just initial, that initial stage there. So feel that. So there's something that's going to have to happen here once you get to this far. Either you're going to pull up with your shoulders and do the scarecrow, we don't want to do that. So we're going to go like this, reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists, and it's like, oh, okay. Now we're going to, to reach down with the elbows, and that, and reach up with the wrists. So just, you're here like this, and then, oh, down. So there's a little bit of a rotation that occurs there. You reach up with the, up with the wrists, and notice how this opens up your chest, Opens up your shoulder joints. You start to feel that really wide open. And the fingers come up and out. And then ah, come down, reach down with the elbows. Down with the wrists. Down with the fingers. Reach with the elbows. Reach, set the elbows. Reach with the wrists. Drop the elbows. Reach with the wrists. Reach with the fingers. Elbows, wrists, fingers, elbows, wrists. Drop your elbows, reach up with the wrists, and reach up with the fingers. Elbows, wrists, fingers. Yeah, I just continue that, just moving very gracefully. Feel the, your arms are just very light, like ribbons blowing in the wind. And this is how we get that easy grace in any Taiji Tran form and Qigong, anything like that we get. We learn to disconnect from the interference of the shoulder joints.
And just hold that position for a moment. Just feel the chi. Feel the power, the effortless power. It's a yin power right now because you're not doing anything. You're just holding your position. You're, you have, you're, you're settled into a state of wholeness. But within that wholeness, there is a, sen a sense of fullness. And now step in and Good the balls of your feet, reach up at the wrists. Going uh, up. Sink into your heels, reach down with your elbows. Fingers up, down with your hands. Disappear the chi. And dissolve into the emptiness. Great. Take a seat, please. Why don't you guys grab uh, grab the bench, and we'll uh, we'll do a uh, a group Q and A call here. Why don't you slide that to the side so we can get uh, three? Yeah, we we'll get three together. So you can pull your table. Yes. Oh. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Don't make the whole thing fall over. Okay. All right. Can you get that wider, wider <laughs> angle there? That's as wide as it goes. We're good. There we go. Okay. Cool. Maybe I could. That was fun. <laughs> Sharon, you have something? Yes. When we were first playing with um, the wrist, and we got to the point where we were reaching with the wrist. Yeah. Ultimately, should we be feeling a space in our wrist with the joint opening open, joint opening? Brilliant. Yes. Okay. Brilliant. That, that great, great observation. So there's, and that's true of all the joints. You want to, we're, we're cultivating an awareness of the space in the joints. Thank you. So that, that's a great, great question. Jonathan. You're on, on mute. Stan. <laughs> hey, Stan, you're on mute. <laughs> you're still on mute, Jonathan. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, Stan. <laughs> Love Stan. Um, so just actually a couple things. First, the uh, hand thing, it does seem... An emotion comes with this, like get away, so that I wonder if one can practice it with a different emotion, like receiving something, or I don't know whether the the words, the context in which you raise it, you know, with your language will will help the actual not be a attention thing. Help, not create it, but help it. The other thing is, is I would I'm beginning to think it would be great to go through the whole Tai Chi form with more precise languaging. Like, you know, in, instead of lifting the arm, we're really just bending the elbow and the arm comes up. But I, I don't think any of the Tai Chi instructions ever do it that way. They don't say rotate the elbow, bend the elbow, but it strikes me that's often what we're doing, right? Yeah, yeah, well, this is, we're kind of, Breaking new ground here in in, yeah. in languaging, so yeah. uh, that 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 will that will follow. But first, I just want to share with you, you know, my perspective on on how I get to where you know yeah, where yeah. I'm going with this, and just to say, the reason why we do it is to create gin. Yes, just to get to get the muscle muscular tension out of the way, so that we can create gin. That's no small thing, getting the muscular tension out of the way. Also, you know, when we, say set, when we say set the elbows, I mean, even that phrase, it's like, you know, the elbow can do a lot of its own setting. If you, you, know, you can set your elbow with your shoulder, too, 
But then you have to let go of that shoulder tension to do the next step. It's like, so there's so much in this. It just happens. Absolutely. And I'm trying to simplify the language as much as I can, but you're right. There, there are layers upon layers and, and that you can only get those by just practicing it. Lynn, you had something. Oh yeah, go ahead. You're on, you're on mute. There we are. My tech person was having difficulty. Right. <laughs> um, so kind of in, in the vein of what made it really work and feel the gin, um, and we were helping each other testing as we were lifting the wrist. Um, and when I first did it, it was okay. But then Valerie had said, oh, and then I need to feel your hand. Um, first I feel my hand, then I feel your hand. And when I did that with Nick, it was night and day, right? Yeah. It was just like, oh, now Nick is not even there, right? <laughs> I mean, I feel him, but he got... You know, I'm feeling him, but he's got no power over me. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> so that worked really well. And so, but then I was thinking, <laughs> power. he has the power to me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Everyone wants that power. Nick wants. Sorry. Go ahead. Say. Oh, no, the other thing. The other thing was. So I. So I tried. That, then I. We went back to just doing it ourselves, and I was just like, "Well, it helped when I felt Nick." So then I just felt the air. I was like, "Oh, I'll just meet instead of meeting Nick, I'll meet the air." Beautiful. And that worked almost Probably. as well right you know Probably. i mean i think it's it's easier to do with a real life obnoxious body next to you <laughs> but yeah it was, that was really helpful great so thank you valerie cool perfect go ahead i was gonna say something go you're gonna say something i was gonna go to what jonathan um when you were talking about this and uh, like the go away when i just this all i feel is open i'm not feeling i'm pushing anything it's just open and then that the it's freaking magic it's just yeah i'm not resisting anything i'm just opening and it flows nice peter yeah thank you you know i'm not sure i'm generating that much gin yet but i particularly like the the last the last exercise and uh for me um, I have a sense that this is all kind of supporting the the unifying principle of doing less. And uh, I kind of felt that doing less in the movement. And I did get a little taste of more wholeness and fluidity. So it, it feels real. Great. Perfect. Oh, well, it's another lesson in getting out of the way. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. How do we get out of our own way? So these are, mm -hmm. but there are certain things, you know, I, I guess the, the point I, I was trying to make was that there are certain things that are happening at a pre-conscious level that, you know, we apparently don't have control over until we do, right? And so it's like, it, it, it seems like, you know, how do I, how do I get my shoulders out? You know, it seems like impossible, but we're offering, say, no, no, if you go about this methodically, patiently, softly, we develop the awareness of how to do it, and then the power comes with, with doing that. Scott? Um, I can't over, we were, Rick was showing us some of this, and I can't overemphasize doing the T-Rex hand and to make sure your elbow is not moving to, to get it when you're first practicing it. Because you might think you're setting your elbow, but you may or may not be. But when you've got it on your side, you know you are, and it's really at least start there for a little bit. Yeah. And the key with it, with that, too, is to remember that even as you're lifting up, you're reaching forward with, with the wrist. It's not not just up and back. It's 
always kind of, you're reaching out. There's an extension as you're doing that. Cool. Jonathan, you had something. I just want to share. It's something I've been doing for months. And I know we've been talking about it some, Rick. It's just there's so much of this can also apply even if you don't move. It's like each one or whatever, but it's like, being about to move, well, what's getting ready to move? Oh, my shoulders and everything else. I'm prepping mm -hmm. to move. So, like, I'm starting to do more of this practice sitting at concerts, doing just just not moving, but being very aware of my body state and the tension it's holding in preparation for moving. So, nice. it's, I don't know. There's a whole world there to explore. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. So, we're showing at a very big level, exaggerated hand motion, stuff like that, so that we can get it so that it's exactly as you're saying, Jonathan, it's, it's then becomes responsive to intention and there's almost nothing happening whenever you get that right. And that's where, where the magic tricks start to start to happen. That's where you start to see like, how did that happen? I can't, you know, <laughs> I didn't do anything, you know, well, you kind of did, you know, it's just that, what you did was on a very um, insubstantial level. Cool. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, I no? got something. Okay. Something that um, I noticed when we're doing this, when I'm really reaching with the wrist, is a completely different feeling of the energy in my hands versus my whole hand feeling you know, the tingly or the, you know, the, the puffiness ball was, I could really feel it in my fingertips in a very pronounced way. It was different. It was just, mm. you know, from reaching, really reaching with the wrists when I've got that, I could feel it different in my hands. Beautiful. Beautiful. They say so much of what we're doing here is fine tuning these really subtle aspects of this, of this, and and locating, you know, the power that's hidden, that insubstantial power that's hidden within them, that enables us to take it to another level. The producer had something. Oh. <laughs> no, I was just going to say that when you're practicing this, uh, try to really remember that feeling of a path of least resistance, because we're removing resistance to allow the energy to flow. Right. And that feeling of nothingness is really you're finding the path, you're opening a path of least resistance in your body. That's that's mm. that's a good point. Mm. That feeling of nothingness, that feeling is is, is not a, means it means it's working. Right. <laughs> cool. Okay. Thank you all so much. It's been great. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, Bye, that's, guys. That's, that's so much fun. Thank you all so much. Thanks, Bye -bye. Thanks Maria. Have fun, y'all. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. See you soon.